Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Capricorns who are watching. So if you have Capricorn as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Capricorn, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get started with your reading and your energy, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Also, any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I do describe from your person, that could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed here, just however this reading resonates for you, please only take what resonates out of it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we have going on for you, Capricorn, when it comes to love. Can we please receive a few messages from my Capricorns, please, when it comes to their energy? Who's this person that is making their way towards Capricorn? All right, let's take both of those messages and how does this person truly feel? I'm going to read this as an extra. It says, I'm a work in progress. I'm trying to be better. I'll go ahead and incorporate that message into the reading if needed, or if it applies to the rest of what we have. What else do we need to know here, please, for my Capricorns when it comes to their love energy? Let's go ahead and receive one more message, and we'll begin with what we have so far. So first message that did come out is, all I want with you is something healthy. We also have, I know I'm confusing, I'm still figuring myself out. I'm so in love with you, this is the best I have ever felt. If you ever gave me another chance, I'd never screw it up. I'm not far behind. And we also have, I can't take back my actions, but I can show you better. Okay Capricorn, so... This could be the energy of right person, wrong time, Capricorn. If you don't resonate with that, I do feel like this is someone you've already know or you've met before and you two are at a distance from one another. You Capricorn, you may still think about this person because you felt as though um, you were building something with them or just your initial interest towards this person and how that connection was forming you you may still think about this person but because of their actions or their energy or what they've put into this connection and it not being beneficial you chose to leave it at that and not stress on it or not press the press the connection to building into something that is not meant to be if that makes sense so basically, you took this person's actions for what it was and you stayed away yourself. But I, I feel like this person, Capricorn, they had this idea of coming back to you or you were not forgotten. They did not want to leave this behind here. And with that right person, wrong time energy, I feel like this person had some maturing to do or they were sorting some things out behind the scenes. And in order to be the best person for this connection, they had to separate or they had to take care of some things, but they did not leave you in the past. So let's go ahead and start with this person's energy, Capricorn. We have, I can't take back my actions, but I can show you better. I feel like this is their energy. They may have put in low vibrational actions into this connection, Capricorn, or something came out or something was done towards this connection or towards you, and it was just not what you were looking for, unacceptable, something that you personally wouldn't contribute into this connection, knowing how you feel, being that your intentions were to build with this person or have something of foundation with them. 
So I feel like this is this person's energy. I know that the past happened and I can't take that back, but I could prove to you that I'm past that as a person or I won't do that again towards you by showing you better. So taking acknowledge or acknowledging what they've done and pleading to you that they will not make it happen again. If you ever gave me another chance, I'd never screw it up. So for my Capricorns who did close this person off, or maybe this person has tried to reach out to you to start fresh again, but you've seen enough from this person to know that this is not for you. I feel like this person is trying to show you that they're honestly trying to sort this out with you and have a better outcome than the past year but i i feel like for you capricorn it's like fool me once that's that's the only risk i'm taking or that's the only chance that you'll have of fooling fooling me ever you showed me what i needed to see and i'm taking that lesson from it and i'm walking away so you may have closed this door locked it secured it because you did not appreciate what this person did to this connection and it was not tolerable. It was not a standard of yours, Capricorn. You weren't about to settle or make exceptions. So we have this message. I know I'm confusing. I'm still figuring myself out. This person's energy, Capricorn. And this may have been the point where things started to become iffy or indifferent between you and this person. I feel like initially you two were building something. You two were closer. But then this person started to pull away and become unsure. And, and an example of that is you trying to make plans with this person and they just never respond back to you. Like they don't have the decency or the courtesy to let you know that yes or that no. So when things start to become, com com when things start to become confusing for you, Capricorn, I feel like that's when you did not waste any more of your time, your effort or your energy into this connection because it's not hard to be sure about a person and even if there's something going on at least communicate that with me don't leave me in the dark here don't have me jumping to my own conclusions here so i feel like with your energy as well you you notice this person's actions and not just their words i'm not far behind this person's energy capricorn trying to catch up with you here not wanting this to be left in the past I'm so in love with you. This is the best I have ever felt. This could be a shared energy. This could have been how you were feeling towards this person before this distance took place here. But as far as this person's energy, Capricorn, I feel like this is how they feel about you. They feel love for you. And that distance that occurred, it was needed in order for them to put their best foot forward here. And they want to resume that energy with you. And all I want with you is something healthy, a shared energy here. And once again, with I can't take back my actions, but I can show you better. This person is willing to acknowledge and take responsibility and hold themselves accountable. What I showed you before, it wasn't the definition of something healthy that I want with you. But now I'm trying to show you that I could really do better for you and by you. All right, let's see what else we have for Capricorn, please, when it comes to this person. What else do we need to know here for my Capricorns? And what other energy do we have making their way, making its way towards Capricorn? Let's receive two more messages. One more message. Let's go ahead and get started. We have, there's no one else like you. Your energy is irreplaceable. I miss our phone calls at the end of the day. I could see myself loving you so hard, it's scary. And lastly, we have, I want you to come everywhere with me. I feel better with you by my side. So Capricorn, I feel like you did pull away when you felt like this person was not there for you. Um, when things felt one-sided, when you knew that they could do better or they could be doing better for this connection because you've seen it once before and you were not trying to compare the past to now or to that present moment because you felt like it, it should be consistent like that 
and just knowing how you come Capricorn as far as what you're willing to do for your love or for your partner how they'll never have to question your love that's the same energy that you want returned or that's the same feeling that you want to feel yourself so let's start with this message i want you to come everywhere with me i feel better with you by my side so this could be a shared energy between you two capricorn but as far as your energy felt towards this person you felt comforted by them you felt like they could be in your long term and there not be an issue where that spark wouldn't die out here so i feel like you made time for this person because you did have that interest and your time is valuable here i can see myself loving you so hard it's scary so your energy capricorn i feel like once things started to become or feel indifferent or you sense that energy you backed away because you know how hard you're willing to go for this person but the last thing you may want or one thing you want to avoid is doing that for a person who is not trustworthy someone who is not loyal someone who will go behind your back or ignore you that sort of rejection or that sort of energy it's not suitable for you so it's like you may have put that that final end to things yourself here to protect your feelings and emotions there's no one else like you. Your energy is irreplaceable. I feel like this is how this person feels about you, Capricorn. Another reason to why they don't want this to be over, why they're trying to get you to recognize or notice them or pay them attention still because they don't want to forget about you. And I miss our phone calls at the end of the day. So you may have been talking to this person daily. Um, maybe the phone call at the end of the day or that communication with them at the end of the day that was like the cherry on top that was like what you were looking forward to so this person may actually call you out of nowhere capricorn to revive this connection but i do hope this resonates for you capricorn let's see what sign you may be dealing with here we do have leo as our first sign Libra, Leo, Libra, one more sign please for my Capricorns, and it is Virgo. All right, Capricorn, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.